and we have the kitchen, which serves Japanese street food. One bite, you have to go back and get it. Hi, Manar. And Tamar, right? Correct. <laughs> Welcome to Akibodori. Thank you. Let me show you around, then uh -huh. we'll grab a bite to eat. Yes, let's do it. Sounds good? Yep. This is our pizzaiolo, Luigi. Luigi, meet Manar. Hello, How Luigi. How are you uh, doing? You're going to make something amazing for us today? Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I told her a lot <laughs> about the pizza. I'll make a special olive for you. Okay. okay. Let's see that. I can see an actual street here, some games there, so many colors. What's that? So it's part of the concept, obviously. Akibadori is short for Akihabara, or that's what the locals would call it in Japan. It's kind of the inspiration, which is why we have an arcade there, because it is a bit of a game district. Yeah. There's like a bakery, there's a coffee shop, and we have the kitchen, which serves Japanese street food. So we wanted something that's kind of our interpretation of it. So this is part of our street food menu. That's the chicken katsu sando. These are our rock shrimps, what some people say are the best in town, but who am I to argue? I'll see about that. Yeah, you have to try and see. And here we go with the pizza. Here we go. Welcome, Luigi, again. Hi. Join us, yalla. Sure, sure, sure. So what did you make? So I made the, the gnocco, uh -huh. the salami one, the pepperoni, and the Luigi san. So New Yorku is like the New Yorker mm -hmm. in Japanese. So we wanted a New York style pizza. This pizza is very special because it's only 190 grams. So it's like half the weight of a half typical Italian thing. pizza. It's extremely light. What do you want to start with? Go for it. Mm, I think this one? Yep. It's pepperoni and a mix of American cheese with a bit of uh, chili flakes, garlic, oregano. Can't wait to try that, guys. Go for it. I'm yeah, excited like for you. You got to try this pizza for the first time. Wow. I will have a Luigi San. Mm, the sauce is so different. I never tried something like this before. It's a mix of cheese, a tomato sauce. And it is so light. Yes. I can yeah. feel that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's the idea. So how was the food? To be honest, I loved every and each bite that I ate Amazing. today. Yeah. Well, I know you have somewhere to go, so I'm going to let you be. And uh, we'll catch you soon in Akibadori again. Yeah, thank right. you guys. Thanks was, a lot for coming. It was my pleasure to meet you. you. Take care. Thank Take you. Care. See Ciao. you. Welcome to Gaia. Hi. My name is Chef Izu. I bought something for you to try. Wow. Yeah, it looks fantastic, but it's, it is amazing. It's one of the one of the Greek traditional dishes. It's baked feta cheese with filo pastry with nuts and honey. This kind of dish is like one of these dishes. You take one bite, you have to go back again to discover another exactly. flavor. Exactly. I never tried something like this before. Is it salty somehow? Yeah, the cheese, yeah. I mean, the cheese, uh, yeah. the feta, uh, is basically cured with salt. So that's why the combination of the honey and the saltiness, it has like, a good marriage to it when, uh, when you eat it. Thank you, I loved it. <laughs> Don't be shy, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in there. This is how it's normally done, you go in there, Oh, wow. Uh, I couldn't do that. I was like, oh, <laughs> small bite. You can't bite. be too delicate with these kind of things. Wow, let me try to do that. <laughs> dig and dig. Huh? Exactly, go in. And... Great, you got to get the cheese mm. there. Right the here, cheese, right? Uh, yeah. And then you taste the honey as well. Oh my oh, yeah. god, oh my god. <laughs> and we also diverted the flavour by giving a little bit of spice in there, so it gives you that complexity, so it mm. keeps you coming back for more flavours. Wow, and seriously. the crunch and the nuts. I love this dish. It's one of the uh, typical dishes that a lot of people come to have because mm -hmm. it represents a Greek way of living, yeah. simple and honest. It's all about the product being good, represented in the right way, understood, and that's it. It's so special and unique. Seriously, I never tried something like this before. Thank you, thank you. Wow. My first time, but not last time, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, and you? Very good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Very cool. My name's Tom Arnell, uh, and I'm the founder of Tom and Serge. You're welcome, it's great to have you here. Thank you. So while I'm sitting here waiting for you, I'm looking at the decoration, the stairs, the high ceiling, and I'm thinking like, I want to know more about the concept of your restaurant, so yeah. tell me about Well, originally we opened Tom and Serge in 2013, yeah. so we set up an Australian-inspired cafe. We specialize in coffee and Australian style specialty coffee. So, would you mind if I order you uh, a flat white? Yes, let's do it. Let's Ooh. have it. All right. <laughs> Guys, yeah, we'll get some uh, coffee, please. We have actually an in-house bakery um, in one of my other restaurants called The Sum of Us uh, and we make the best carrot cake in Dubai. So here it is. So giant! Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> it's a big portion, uh, but it is amazing. So yeah, I hope you like it. Let's have it. Yeah, let's try it. It's going to be my favorite very soon, <laughs> obviously. That's awesome. <laughs> and just so you know as well, we, we actually roast all of our coffee in-house. Um, and we are fully sustainable. We bake our own bread, we roast all of our own coffee. So we are Dubai's only um, single-use plastic-free hospitality company, which is something I'm very proud of. So yeah, very cool. Yeah, impressive. 